The upcoming Apple event in September is expected to reveal two new offerings, the Apple Watch Series 9 and the Apple Watch Ultra 2. These watches promise distinct features, prompting the question of their differentiating factors and overall value. Additionally, it remains to be seen how substantial of an improvement they bring compared to their predecessors. Fortunately, we have the answers and all the latest rumors to get you up to speed. We've added timestamps, so if you're only interested in the Apple Watch Ultra 2, you can just skip past this next section. Also, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. We review all the newest products using the most accurate rumors and the latest spec releases. Series 9, Release Date and Price Apple's watch release schedule, if you'll excuse the pun, runs like clockwork. For years, its most recent iterations have debuted in the second or third week of September, usually alongside new iPhones, with on-sale dates roughly a week and a half later. Apple is unlikely to change the cadence this year. Thus, we expect the Apple Watch Series 9 will debut during an Apple event in September 2023. According to the latest speculations, the event will take place on either Tuesday, September 12, or Wednesday, September 13, with the new watch going on sale on September 22. This is just an educated guess, so be sure to take this advice with a pinch of salt. In terms of pricing the Apple Watch series, they have been quite similar in their approach. Apple has been surprisingly consistent in its pricing policy for Apple Watch purchasers in the United States. However, European countries would bear the brunt of multiple price hikes in 2022. As a result, the basic model in the United Kingdom increased by £50 from the Series 7 to the Series 8. With a price rise in Europe already in place, we'd expect the Series 9 to have a similar price as the Apple Watch Series 8 it replaces. So, it should be around $399 or £419. Series 9, WatchOS 10. One thing is certain about the Apple Watch Series 9, it will come with Watch OS 10. This means a few new watch faces, possibly a pair exclusive to the next model, as well as a new feature or two. Following the Worldwide Developers Conference on June 5, we were given a first peek at a number of new features and apps coming to the Apple Watch software, including a new way to navigate and updated apps across Watch OS 10. There will be new clocks and watch faces to pick from, as well as new apps and improvements to existing apps, such as the Compass and Maps app, and new health features. Series 9 – New Features There are a bunch of new features coming to the Apple Watch Series 9, so buckle in for this next section, it might go on for a while. First up, we have the design of the watch. There will be no modifications to the Apple Watch Series 9 design, although some tweaks to the Apple Watch Ultra design are possible. However, the Apple Watch Series 9 could be made available in pink, which would be pretty unique. Comparing the technical specifications of each new Apple Watch model reveals a recurring pattern in chip nomenclature. Despite different names like S8 for Series 8, S7 for Series 7, and S6 for Series 6, they essentially feature the same chip. The upcoming S9 chip, however, is anticipated to deliver notable speed enhancements. Unlike the S7 and S8, which share the same CPU under different names, the S9 is projected to introduce an A15 design with improved performance, battery life, and an integrated neural engine. This advancement is expected to result in a smoother interface experience, although the durability of this improvement, considering Apple's history, remains uncertain. Apple has been diligently developing a non-invasive method to monitor glucose levels, a project years in the making. A secret team has achieved significant milestones, reaching the proof-of-concept stage. However, this feature might not appear in this year's watch and could take several more years. Potential additions include stress level tracking with an EDA sensor and body composition measurement via a bioimpedance sensor. Another potential addition is an action button, a feature typically found in the Ultra lineup, which was introduced last year. The Series 9 boasts a sturdier design, flat corners, a slightly larger display, and an unexpected new feature, the action button. Positioned opposite the digital crown, this button could offer customizable functions such as timers, workouts, or a flashlight, a compelling upgrade to the existing Apple Watch design. Apple Watch Series 9 – Verdict The Apple Watch Series 9 is expected to be a minor update, so if you own a Series 8 or Series 7, you should definitely wait before upgrading. However, 
owners of earlier watches may want to update for a variety of reasons, including Watch OS X support, the new processor, and speculations of a makeover next year. Ultra 2 – Release Date and Price Expectations Now, if you skipped all of the Apple Watch Series 9 stuff, I don't blame you. The Apple Watch Ultra 2 is the more exciting release of the two, in my humble opinion. When it comes to new Apple Watch releases, we can always count on them to appear alongside the latest iPhones. That suggests a September launch is anticipated, with the iPhone 15 and iPhone 15 Pro lines rumored to come on September 12 or September 13. The Apple Watch Ultra 2 will almost certainly be released alongside the Apple Watch Series 9, making for a spectacular launching event. However, no Apple Watch Southeast redesign is expected this year, so that's one new device we shouldn't expect in September. In terms of pricing, the current Apple Watch Ultra costs $799 and includes cellular service as standard. We anticipate that cellular connectivity will continue, although the cost is unknown at this time. Price increases are planned across the iPhone 15 and iPhone 15 Pro lineups, so it wouldn't be surprising if the Apple Watch Ultra 2 followed suit. It's unclear how any large price rise would be justified, but a new chipset could be to blame. We have tried to find a more accurate prediction of the price, but there really isn't much to go off at this moment. Apple have done a good job at keeping this information under wraps, but we are definitely leaning towards an increased price for the Ultra 2. Apple Watch Ultra 2 Design We aren't expecting many major Apple Watch Ultra 2 design changes this time around, but there is one change that we are hoping for. With the Apple Watch Ultra only being introduced last year, it is too soon to expect Apple to make significant upgrades just a year later. As a result, the Apple Watch Ultra 2 is projected to have a very familiar overall shape. However, based on recent rumors, we anticipate the introduction of a new, darker titanium finish. This should debut alongside the current silver, rather than replacing it in the selection. There is said to be no change in case size either so expect the same 45mm case. Ultra 2 Features and Processor The Apple Watch Ultra 2 will, of course, run Watch OS X but the software will also be available for the previous Apple Watch Ultra and other Apple wearables. It's impossible to predict what will be fresh and unique to the Apple Watch Ultra 2. Rumors about Apple Watch Ultra 2 features have been conspicuously absent, implying that we should limit our expectations for this upgraded hardware. The crux of the upgrade may be a performance gain rather than a major feature introduction. It is a bit of a letdown if there are no major feature upgrades or maybe Apple is doing an extremely good job at controlling any leaks. But now, let's talk processors. We've been advised to expect some silicon advances this time around for the first time in years. It is here that the Apple Watch Ultra 2 will most likely outperform the previous device. Since the arrival of the Apple Watch Series 6 in 2020, Apple hasn't actually updated the chip that powers its wearables. Bloomberg's Mark Gurman expects that will change with this year's S9 processor. We've been informed to expect a fairly significant performance boost, as well as significant speed improvements, which is quite exciting. This is of course the same processor being used in the Series 9. The improved chip should allow Apple Watch Ultra 2 owners to see data and apps load faster than on previous models. It's likely that Apple will exploit its improved performance to enable new features, but as previously stated, we haven't seen leaks revealing what those new features will be. Apple Watch Ultra 2 Verdict Guys, I'll be honest, I am definitely on the fence with the Ultra 2. Until there are clear features leaked for the new version, then I really don't see much point in upgraded from the Ultra. September 12th or 13th will be the day when we find out if this watch will revolutionize the Ultra lineup. Anyway, guys that's all from us today on these two highly anticipated watches. Please be sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe for more content like this.